S Club 7 singer Paul Catamol has unexpectedly died at the age of 46. Sky News correspondent Matthew Thompson has the details. We don't know much about what happened other than to say that Paul Catamol was found yesterday at his home in Dorset and pronounced dead. Uh, police have not released any cause of death yet, but it's understood that they're not treating it as suspicious. But yes, total shock and devastation across the music industry. Paul was, of course, one of the founding members of S Club 7. He was talent scouted and joined it at its foundation in 1998 and went on to well, quite frankly, some extraordinary successes with the group. They won two Brit Awards, they had four UK number one singles, they had one UK number one album, and really were one of the biggest music acts of the late 90s and early noughties. Paul, though, was the first to leave the group, citing creative differences in 2002. And although S Club dropped the seven and went on without him, he failed to emulate the same kind of success that he'd achieved whilst a member of the band. He was briefly in a new metal group, but that failed to achieve any success or a record deal, and so it uh, broke up. He then went on a touring production of the Rocky Horror Show, but had to leave that early due to a back injury. He then had a series of odd jobs by his own admission to try and make ends meet. He was most recently the manager of a community radio station in his, in his home of Dorset. And also famously in 2018, he had attempted to auction his Brit Award, which he himself said at the time was because he had bills to pay. But he'd also been part of a number of S Club reunions, most re recently in 2014-15, when all seven of the group got back together. And as I say, was clearly in the early stages of planning the latest reunion. S Club, in a statement on their Twitter page, said that they were truly devastated by the passing of our brother Paul. There are no words to describe the deep sadness and loss we all feel. They said, we were so lucky to have had him in our lives and are thankful for the amazing memories we have. He'll be so deeply missed by each and every one of us. We ask that you respect the privacy of his family and of the band at this time. Also, as I say, reactions from right across the entertainment industry, but notably from one Simon Fuller, who was the founder, really, of S Club 7, also managed the Spice Girls and a number of significant music acts. And he said Paul was a beacon of light for a generation of pop music fans, and he will be greatly missed. We're all deeply shocked and saddened by the news.